Okay, Mac? Yeah, I'm just trying to make a painting of that flower. Ooh, let me see. Where's the flower? Oh, that is the flower. Yeah, I think I kind of see what you're going for. Oh, my human friend Nathaniel is struggling to paint a flower. As his imaginary friend, I want to help. But all my flowers look like blobs. Why'd you call Sonia? I'm not making cupcakes here. I'm trying to make art. You'll see. Hey, Sonia! Mac needs your help. He's been painting blobs and... <gasps> sorry, flowers. And he's upset because they're not coming out right. Oh, I totally understand. You should see some of the things I've baked that came out, well, different than expected. Like my 59-layer cake. I only see two layers. <laughs> the other 57 fell off. Yikes! Yum! Hey, what's that? Oh, that's my extra light fly bread. Why do you call it that? Give it a sec. Oh. <laughs> I guess all those fly seeds really made it rise. Now how about some brownies that turn blue? Hmm. Yum! This bluey is amazing! Why, thank you. Some of my goodies may have unexpected qualities, but I never see any of them as mistakes. More like masterpieces in disguise. I better get going. I promised a lot of folks that I'd bring them some of my fresh baked blueies. I wish I could paint a flower as well as you bake a bluey. You can. You just need to start with three simple words. Yes. Let's imagine all the kinds of flowers we can create. There's the one in the vase. Yeah, but would Sonia paint a plain old flower? Probably not. Let's funify it. Or simplify it. Or make it out of little dots. Yes, so many kinds of flowers. Let's plan. <laughs> And now, I shall create my flower. <laughs> and done. That's the most amazing flower ever. It's not just a flower, is it? It's a special brown dragon flower blowing fire. I love it! I can't wait to show Nathaniel how every piece of artwork is actually a masterpiece in disguise. What you gonna paint now, Mac? Hmm. I was thinking of painting you. Aw, that's sweet, Mac. Huh? Did you mean <gasps> you're painting me? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Brr. It's too chilly out there today. Ah. And it's too messy in here. Hey, I was looking for that. Thanks for finding it, Mac. I didn't find it. I tripped over it. Notice any difference between my side of the room and yours? Yeah. You'll never find any of your toys by tripping over them. Oh, like this one. <laughs> <sighs> Izzy, I think it's time you clean up. Aw, you sound just like the parents of my human friend Claire. She'll do anything to avoid picking up her stuff, and so will I. Hey, let's make a fun game out of cleaning our room. Or what if I have my stuff pick up itself? <laughs> I remember when you created that walking toy chest. Oh, that 
boy. Go, go, go! I suppose that could work. Of course it will. He's a good little chest. Hey, where'd he go? There he is. A couple of clouds down. Ooh, I was looking for that. Thank you. <laughs> Keep an eye on that little fella. It's cold out here. Thanks for bringing him back. We'll never let him run off again. You're welcome. Bye, Sonia. Uh, is he? He's gone again, isn't he? Oh, we'll find him. We just need to use three simple words. Let's imagine how we can find our runaway toy chest. I know. A bloodhound that sniffs out furniture on the run. A telescope that can look everywhere at once. Or a magic map that shows us where he is. Ooh. Hey, what if we stop trying to find the chest and make it find us instead? Hmm. Think about it. What does a toy chest walking around in bare feet really want in this cold weather? Balloons? A jump rope? <gasps> Ice cream! Okay, I'm out of ideas. Socks! His feet must be cold by now. We just have to let him know where he can find some. Great idea! Time to plan! Now, let's create a way to bring that toy chest home. Okay. And the room's tidy, too. Hey, cleaning up's not so bad. If you turn it into a fun game. Wait, didn't I say that before? My human friend Claire is going to love my new game. Pretend your toy chest can walk and pick up all your toys. And don't forget the socks. I'll never forget my socks. Look, <laughs> you're keeping my head warm. <laughs> 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 Hey, Izzy, what's with the cup? My human friend Claire loves apple juice. She'd drink it all day if she could, but her mom won't let her. That's probably a good idea. Still doesn't explain the cup. It's for the apple juice. <gasps> what? Izzy, have you been doing anything to mess with the weather? I just wanted to learn more about this juice, so I created a cloud that rains apple juice. What? Mmm, ah. I could drink this stuff all day. But it's raining apple juice in our house. Mmm, that is delicious. Huh, is it? It's beginning to puddle. Oh, it's fine. As long as we have enough cups. Okay. I've got to go check out this cloud. Uh-oh. Whoa. What do I do? That's enough, Cloud. Go away! Is he? to fix this. I know. We need three simple words. Imagine. Plan. Create. Let's imagine a way to stop this juice rain. A giant umbrella. That'll keep us dry, but it won't stop the flooding. Oh, how about extra large straws so we can slurp? 
slurp it all up. Nope. Too much juice to drink. I know. A super freezer that turns all the juice rain into juice snow. So we can eat it instead. Like a massive snow cone. Brr, too cold. We'll get a massive brain freeze. But what do we do? Our staircase is filling up like a bathtub. That's it. What do you do with a bathtub? Splash in it. Play with my rubber ducky. Make bubble beards. No. Izzy, you drain it. <gasps> Good idea. Let's plan how to make a drain. Hmm, a plumbing wrench. Ooh, the adjustable gasket extractor. Ah, the reverse thingamajiggy. Oh, nice plug. Be right back. Now I shall create the perfect way to drain our house. Quick, it's going to overflow. Not a problem. Maybe a little problem. Nice work, Izzy. Thanks, but oh, I think I drank too much juice. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Too much juice, or too much of anything. Will flood your house? Well, yeah, but it'll also give you a tummy ache. I totally understand why Claire's mom will let her drink so much juice. Wow, it's also really sticky when it rains all over you. Hmm, bath? With rubber duckies and bubble bears? 